Yeah, 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 and we are back with more Civilization 5. Uh, we are playing China, as usual, and we are involved in a in a war against uh, our friends out here, the Huns. Uh, we have joined uh, the mighty Byzantine Empire to uh, to fight the Huns, they have been on a real killing spree and now the Byzantines have retaken Delhi. Uh, so this is the third owner of Delhi. It started as an Indian city of course and uh, now yeah it went over to uh, the Hunnic Empire when uh, Attila conquered it and now it's Byzantine. Byzantium is growing and I'm a bit worried that we are actually out helping them. Um, we shouldn't be helping them, really, now should we? We ha but, yeah, um, this is how we are doing it now. Uh, we have an open borders with India, so we can move troops through their territory, which we are going to do. Uh, probably go up against uh, Nara here. I think she is also attacking in that direction so uh, that will be very interesting to see maybe we'll even get a chance at Kyoto we'll see mostly the war has been fought at sea which is kinda of fun I like sea wars they are um, a lot safer we have a submarine on her way up here to uh, uh, try and reach Attila's court out here I uh, I don't know if it's a very intelligent operation, but yeah, let's sail about with our submarine a bit, see how that goes. Um, what else? The Swedish are transporting a major army uh, around here. We can go have a look at it. Look at that. This is absolutely nice, seeing the AI actually ship troops over to a war zone. It's really nice to see that they are indeed doing these things. Uh, they have some Karoliner, um, a very famous uh, Swedish uh, historical unit. Um, the Karolin has its uh, in this uh, game. Uh, some riflemen there and a lot of ships going about. Really nice to see the AI working that way and uh, uh, and actually uh, aggressively pursuing a, a, a war effort. It's really, really nice to see. Uh, Sweden is our friend. Um, Arabia is not. Uh, and I think we would benefit to actually ally with uh, old William here and uh, try to take uh, Arabia out at some point. They are very well advanced with uh, great war infantry and uh, a lot of units around, well, camel archers, those are old fashioned, but, anyways, yeah, so we are going to continue on this now. Um, am I building any wonders? Let's have a look. No stadium there, and nothing queued up after that, so a broadcast tower. 33% culture in this city. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, the Broadway. I like that. And the Statue of Liberty. Um, requires freedom. Plus one production from every specialist in every city. I don't think I like that. <coughs> the Broadway, we could go for that just because it looks cool. So, yeah, let's build the Broadway and then after that the broadcast tower. Let's up pumping broadcast towers shall we um, wherever we can what are the prerequisites for that one I do not know so let's check on here city must have a museum so we need to get those museums pumped out and for that we need the amphitheater um, Why can't I build that here now, then? <coughs> because I am building it. I have been intelligent, of course, yeah. 
two turns to the amphitheater, uh, then we can do the opera house, I think, and then the the whatever. Um, so yeah, it's going pretty well, and scientifically, uh, scientifically, we are booming. We are at 508. We are really advanced. We are doing plastics. It will put us way ahead. And research labs. Oh, I love it. I love. Uh, oh yes. Oh yes, that's what we want. Uh, I think we might stand a good chance of actually winning this game because we are going for the scientific victory. So I think we we are standing a very good chance at uh, really winning this game. But we have another little objective to also do, and that's the atomic bomb. We need to drop that on. Uh, uh, I think it's Istanbul because um, we have an is issue with them like 6,000 years ago they stole our terracotta army and for that they are going to get the atomic bomb um, yeah I'm still sore uh, so uh, yeah uh, now what let's uh, just start doing our business here yeah, really interesting to see this. I really like it. That the AI actually actually does work. And look at this armada. This is an armada. Actually, really impressive. They have been building a lot of ships, haven't they? I'd like another submarine too, so I'm going to queue that in here. Because uh, our navy isn't too strong. You're just sitting out there. Um, that's good enough for me. Um, there have been no pirate threats in this area, so... But I'm just going to let her sit out there. We had another... Uh, yeah, you moved. Um, no, you have five moves left. So let's now go south. I don't think there's anything more out here. We have a few undiscovered pieces of land... Uh, or like undiscovered patches here so we are going to go see what's there I really love this map it uh, creates this world is uh, I mean it's really interesting with all the archipelagos and real continents and stuff it's it, it's been a great world to play uh, really interesting ah oh, that's the texture thing again look at that don't like that, but uh, there's nothing you can do about it. It's a part of the game. Yeah, all greyed out. Oh well. Let's now go to the next turn. We are at 1932, and happiness is doing quite okay. We could do another trade route. That's what we are going to do. Yeah, that's going to be fun. A trade route to William, actually. The Huns have denounced Greece. Well, the Huns are enemies of everyone now. Um, gold is going quite okay as well, but science is really booming now. We are doing really well. Losing grasp on Vancouver. Mm, nothing of interest really this turn. I like the world news, how they pop up in here. It's like uh, world news. Ah. Oh. Oh yes, we have an open borders with them. Look at the Swedish Karolina. Um, kinda historically correct. Uh, kinda. But this isn't a game that's supposed to be historically correct. If this was... I mean, if this was a history simulator, it would be boring. But it's not a boring game, it's a very, very good game. I mean, I, I'm all for historical uh, realism in games and uh, so on, but uh, some games are better. Just like this, <coughs> the Total War series is another example of that. Um, it shouldn't be historically correct to 100%. Now let's see. <coughs> Blimey, I don't want to leave him out there in enemy t or in foreign territory. I don't want to get bad relations with them. Or could I? 
Uh, no, I, I don't think I can uh, enter that. But let's try it anyway. We can afford to. Uh, because uh, if you don't have uh, a certain amount of relations with the, uh, the state you're entering, you might get bad relations with them actually, or worse relations if you leave a unit inside their territory and I do not want to piss anyone off other than the Ottomans and the Huns at this point. Ah, let's now continue on with our cavalry. We'll go out scouting here a bit first. Um, Greek caravan. Okay. <coughs> Akbar, Indian great general. How I would like to capture you. Ooh. Look at that, a Hunnic general out all on him, all by himself, Khaled ibn al-Walid. Let's try to capture him. Infantry is going in slowly here. <coughs> you will be our spearhead unit. That's going to go really slow since India has a unit in there too. I don't have open borders with Greece, do I? Oh yes, I do, as it seems. So let's move you guys here. Cavalry. A cannon. I'm not expecting an attack from the sea, so uh, because I have uh, I have the superiority here. A couple of good ships. You hmm. Let's just move you out of the way so I can get the Gatlings in. I can't um make them into machine guns not just yet mm, you I, I I'm just going to press space on you deploy you here to keep an eye on ah that's Japanese yeah okay I'm not going to worry about that so I'll keep this one up here as well mm, okay you built built a trading post haven't you oh there's lots Lots of new land here and over here as well. This city is now expanding. I did queue up an archaeologist. Yes, I did. Good, excellent. I'm not as stupid as I sound. Ah, the railroad. That's a big, big project. Look at that railroad go. It's always exciting to get the first railroads, I think. It's uh, kind of really fun. Let's upgrade you. Now, let's, what's that? 200, we can do that. But let's also check on our allies here. If we need to bribe anyone soon. Uh, no. <coughs> we can do the upgrades as we see fit here. We have cavalry, we have great war infantry, and yeah, there are a lot of troops stationed in this area, even led by a general. Our great, even the terrible. So, I don't think Arabia will dare anything. Um, let's get you back up here. Ah, I can't move you now, can I? Uh, yeah, lots of good troops. Artillery. Oh, you aren't upgraded, are you? Yeah, artillery. A war against Arabia would be really beneficial, but he has some strong defensive units, and really, look at these armies. Old-fashioned troops, oh, archaeologists, um, camel archers mostly, Arabian knights there. It would be a cool war though. We are also militarily the strongest nation on this planet. So I, I really like that status. No one will dare attack us. We can choose and pick at our own at our own time and at our own will. Uh, research agreement you want No, that's too expensive, man. That that is way too expensive. How about this? Bahakum. Aha, Bahakum. No, he doesn't want a fair deal, so... Um, ah, still. I refuse. I'm not going to stop paying him for a research agreement. 
I think I have research agreements with that. Uh, oh god. There's a battle going on here in Byzantine territory. I bet that's... Um, I bet she's going to be able to handle that. I'm not worried. We do have a trade route here, so we... Yeah, we kind of need to send our troops in here too to protect that. We could go for these guys to try to uh, kidnap them. Let's first see what um, what this uh, town needs. Um, we were doing. We are going for the opera house. We need the um, hotel. So yeah, opera house it is. This is our military center, but focus uh, has kind of shifted. I'm not building too many units so uh, but if I need to build units fast I'll use Shanghai look at that a beautiful city let's also have a look at the Eiffel Tower out there in the river I don't like it it ruins the view of a perfect city this is a perfect city if it, the Eiffel Tower wasn't just out there really perfect well it's kind of quaint isn't it and there's a worse thing out here somewhere. Yeah, this this is even worse. Um, the pyramid in the sea, sunken pyramid. Re <laughs> ah, I'm digressing again. But I like details like this. <coughs> I I'm all for the eye candy um, and stuff looking good in my games. Um, doesn't matter how, but as long as it looks good. And you were going to protect this trade route. <coughs> oh, the submarine. I hope we can find some something to fight. They are really cool when they fire their torpedoes. More cavalry coming in here as a spearhead for the uh, operations in here. Moving in infantry, and I think the Gatling guns after, after that. More infantry coming along. <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, trading post. Yeah, why not? It boosts our science. You can you bomb something from? Can you actually bomb them? No, you can't gift the unit why why would I want to gift a unit to India can you bomb that yeah okay let's do a land bombardment then this is cool kaboom yeah 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 okay <coughs> we're not going further here now can I capture you now? Yeah! Oh yes, destroyed an enemy great general. We are causing some serious damage. Let's get those on alert. Um, space on you still. Space on you. Yeah, we are winning victories here. We took out an enemy general. In a little, uh, kinda commando raid here behind enemy lines um, he has infantry here Gatlings it looks like the Byzantines might require our help here but I think we're going up against Nara or we can pretty much decide now if we want to fight a war out in in the um, terrain or if we want to actually take a city I think a war out in the terrain is uh, much more, uh, well, interesting than taking a city, really. I don't want anything to happen to my happiness, and uh, but we'll see. Let's go to the next turn now. Let's just check on our homeland first to see what uh, we are doing and what we're not doing. I think it's all okay, Sue. You are doing the public school. Excellent. 
um, stock exchange uh, yeah we need to focus on the um, economic buildings as well really it's it's all looking fine let's go to the next turn then aha yeah I could bomb those two let's do that Oh, I love it. The little Skyrim warriors. All dead. All dead. Yeah. Okay, next turn. And a little campfire there. It looks like the um, campfire at uh, giant camps in Skyrim. Yeah. I have Skyrim on my mind. Unfortunately, I do. It's one of the best games I've ever played, I must say. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of the Elder Scrolls, as uh, as uh, some of you may know. I've been modding the series, and I'm a real fan. I've been playing them since Daggerfall. Ooh, Kizil, Caravel. And I think Skyrim is an excellent game. It's a um, it's not like the uh, old classics like uh, Morrowind or Daggerfall, but uh, it, it's really a very modern, very polished RPG. <coughs> and I'm digressing again, but I'm allowed to do that. Okay. We have sheep. Um, what else? I think we are going to just farm this tile. Um, we have built on all our tiles here now, mostly trading posts, but yeah, I'm I'm going to farm here. Yeah, I'm going. I want to farm there. Okay, let's continue marching into uh, the back of the enemy army. Uh, they removed their infantry from there. I'd really like to see what's going on. But, uh, can I take? No, that would be a minor defeat. Yeah, cavalry against a Gatling gun. That's not good. Not good enough. Um, is India at war with the, the Huns? Let's check on that. Mm, global politics. Um, oh, poor Oda. Poor Oda. India at war with Japan. Okay. So that Japan business is still going on. But really, we are also all turning on Attila now. Oh yes! <coughs> he has a substantial fleet outside his uh, capital. So that will be a lovely target for our submarine. If I can get it there. Look, there are ice caps and stuff. So, I, uh, If I remember correctly, I can go under them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able no I can't go there I I'm at a dead end damn actually there's no way I can reach uh, Attila's court this is uh, pretty much only a little bay in and uh, it's kind of protected by the ice caps I can't reach it with my submarine really unfortunate really really unfortunate I don't think I can go around here well Let's see where this uh, Swedish army is headed. In the meantime, I'm leaving Guangzhou pretty much unprotected, aren't I? Dutch sea beggar. Yeah, pirate. Dutch pirate. Let's move this ship back home then. Uh, yeah, okay, you. They move their worker inside there. We are going to do the targeting against land units. Why not? S you cannot steal from the Huns, of course not. Um, the Swedes have entered the modern era. Um, yeah. Okay. 
press space and continue marching in here. I'll wait for the rest of the army to form up now, then I'll attack Nara. Uh, really powerful there. They will be shooting at my ca uh, cavalry here too. Mm. You guys sit, sit tight. You up north. And yeah, press space. And move our troops forward here. Along with artillery. You sit tight. Yeah, we could take Nara if we have. I don't think we have enough artillery. So I'll. I think I'll be. Yeah. just fighting a war out here in this terrain. Uh, we'll see. Um, what else? Yeah, this is pretty much the biggest armada I've seen in this game so far. Built by the AI. Really, really well put together invasion force. It's probably going for Japan though. Nice to see that William is trading with us. Oh god, I forgot to kill him. Oh yeah, there we go. I need to pull them back now. Oh, he has broken his attack against Orid, at least. Two Gatlings there. Ideology adopted. Sweden has adopted order. Now, I don't like that. I don't like that. Our freedom isn't doing too well now, is it? Attila is plotting against Gandhi. Let's share that with Gandhi. Um, thank you. Yeah. And... Uh, oh. World religion. Yeah, here's that crappy world religion in it. I don't want that. Historical landmarks. Great person tile improvements provide plus two culture when worked. Yeah, we want that instead. Uh, yeah, we can't vote yet, but uh, soon. We'll vote for that. I don't care about the world religion. I think that's uh, absolutely stupid. Uh, so, uh, Because we're not a religious nation, we've never been. Look at us. Beijing has no religion at all. No. Uh, well, we have a bit of religion in the north and Buddhism over here uh, in the west, but otherwise we are a really non-religious nation. And they have chosen order. <coughs> Our freedom isn't doing well. Why are you doing this? Yeah, yeah, that's the Swedish special units. Um, Carolina. Whoa. Yeah, I'll press space there, just stay with them. Uh, minor defeat. No, yeah, I can't attack those. So I will be heading back just a bit and send forth my infantry. Those guys need to get out of there and just heal over here, please, till they are back up and running. Yeah, I don't think this is an, an army to invade anything with, actually. Mm, because it's just a couple of units, this. It, it's, not, it's not a regular real army. Let's press space there, keep you guys there and you guys there. That's good enough for me. Um, yeah, we're sailing about the trade route. I, I'm not expecting any barbarians. We have something up there that we're going to go see though. So, uh, yeah. 
and yeah that's the railroad um, we'll continue building the railroad up to Nanjing I think or to Guangzhou or even better to Qi'an um, yeah let's do that and yeah 30 minutes are up we've again had a very good episode we've done some good interesting stuff and yeah it's developing uh, yeah I thank you for watching this one see you in the next one cheers